Order! Order in the court! Everton have spent £400 billion in seven years. How much did you spend as Everton manager? Yeah, I did not spend one penny. Uh, I signed two fellas I went to school with. <laughs> Proper Drosh Townsend! <laughs> and an 87-year-old Venezuelan called Ronda! <laughs> he had a walking stick on the pitch! <laughs> He was that slow! <laughs> Please find them guilty! <laughs> I'm on your side! <laughs> I want them down! <laughs> Throw the book at them! <laughs> Order! I haven't spent a penny! I haven't spent a penny because all my transfer budget got spent on surgery for Denise Barrett Baxter there after a fan ripped her bloody head off in the middle of County Road and the rest of the money got spent on fixing the bloody pitch after the 350 pitch invasions for being friggin' crap! It's the fans fault we've got no money to morons! Order! Mr Dyche, Burnley, Leeds, Leicester, Norwich and Southampton are suing Everton for unfair sporting advantage in the last five seasons. Do you agree? Sporting advantage! Sporting advantage! We had Neil Bloody Mopay up front on his own! Where's the advantage in that? It's a bloody advantage, all right, for the rest of the bloody Premier League! Bloody Order! Hell. Well, I think they, they remember, like, I mean, I mean, I remember spending 30 million quid on Tink Tosin, and I remember spending another 30 million quid on sausage rolls from Greg's, but personally, I think the sausage rolls were a great investment, and that reminds me, when do we break for lunch? Next witness, please. No, I actually didn't sign any actual football players when I was at Everton. I did sign Neil Malfaver. He's not a football player. Have you seen him play? <laughs> But no, I'm serious, yeah, I did pay 12 million quid for a French envelope with one goal in 27 seasons. No. Mr Rooney, you were signed by Ronald Koeman when a lot of money was being spent. How many pounds would you say you were? Yeah, um, I think at the time signed for Everton, I was about um, £650. Um, but I lost quite a lot of that weight and, and went down to £790. Um, I think the reason I weighed so much was because of all the double cheeseburgers I was eating before the game, which, you know, um, wasn't great. Um. Mr Dyche, do you think it's acceptable for Everton to spend this amount of money? OK, well, let me ask you a couple of questions, right? Is it acceptable for Man City to break 74,000 FFP rules? Is it OK for Saudi execution squads to buy bloody Newcastle United? Is it OK for six horrible greedy clubs to try and murder the Premier League and start their own bloody European League? Is that acceptable? Go answer the question. Is that acceptable? Well, yes. OK, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Mr Ancelotti, you were paid £14 billion a year. And for what? What was your plan? Yes, my plan was to make Everton one of the biggest clubs in the world, but we couldn't even achieve that, and I ended up with Big Dunk licking my ear because we scored in the Merseyside Derby for the first time in 27 years. I would give anything to erase this horrible memory from my mind. Do you think the Everton fans deserve this? Because a lot of people say they are toxic, negative, miserable blood who deserve to be severely punished. Well, I never really, really liked the fans because they used to throw meat and potato pies at me during the game, like I mean, and, and I think that's absolutely disgusting uh, when everyone knows that my favourite flavour is steak and kidney. What a waste of a pie. Next witness, please. Yeah, the fans. <laughs> they are hilarious. <laughs> They're always angry. <laughs> if I ran on the pitch and tried to attack me at Norwich away, <laughs> it was our best attack of the season. <laughs> I signed him the next day. <laughs> he still plays for them now, Neil Mopey. <laughs> Order. <laughs> Order. Yes, um. You know, the fans were absolutely incredible to me. Uh, they treated me with so much respect. They actually petitioned to get me the job. I don't know why. I couldn't I couldn't manage a piss out of the brewery, anyway. Anyway, I couldn't manage the chicken in KFC. <laughs> I really couldn't. But no, serious, I still hope they get severely punished and sent straight to the conference. No. I mean, let's be honest, Mr Dyche. You really have no defence, do you? 
Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I haven't got a defence. I've got no defence at all. I've got Michael Keane. Uh, I've got a 78-year-old uh, right-footed left-back called Ashley, who's on a Zimmer frame. And I've got Nathan Patterson. Uh, we've got Branthwaite, but he's going to go to Real Madrid. So, yeah, you're right. I've got no defence. Jury, you've heard all the evidence. Are Everton guilty or guilty? Do we, the very impartial and non-biased independent panel, find Everton guilty of these breaches? Yeah, of course we do. Our decision is to change the 10 point deduction uh, to a 500 billion point deduction, relegate Everton straight down to the Walton under 12s uh, County Road League, um, reappoint agent Rafa Benitez and Frank Lampard as new joint Everton managers, uh, give Jared Brantway to Liverpool for a quid, take the 1995 FA Cup off Everton um, and give it straight to Liverpool. Turn Bramley more into a massive Greg's megastore where you can get two sausage rolls for a pound and sentence Sean Dyche, his players, the owners and all the Everton fans to death by lethal injection. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much, Your Honour.